Hey you guys, so today I'm gonna be doing my nails. Um, my sister gave me a kit for Christmas and it's um, for the gel poly gel and I'm gonna be trying it out today. So let's see how this goes, okay? So I'll be putting my phone there. Um, she gave me this kit right here. So um, I'll be using them. I already took out the stuff that I want to use, but it comes with all of this. Um, it comes with this. I'm going to be using this color, which is milk. Um, I'm going to be using this one and this one. Take it out. Difficult problems. Here you go. So I'm going to be using those. Um, it comes with this. It comes with this is included on it. It comes with the filer. Um, some little glitter. The brush. Yeah. And the cuticle. So I will be doing this today. Um, it didn't include the bonder. But I have bonder here because I usually... Um, well, when I didn't have kits, I would do my nails or my sister's nails or, you know, the cuticle oil after you're done putting your nails and the cleanser. I just like to try new things. All the time. So, here we go. So, um, first, I'm going to be shaping my nails. Um, honestly, I just think I'm just going to do them on top of my nails because my nails are already long. So, I really don't want to, like, really do much to them, you know? Besides, you just, um, filing a little bit, not really much, because I just feel like they're perfect size right here, and I really don't, um, do my nails because I have a baby, so I do not want to scratch them when I change the diaper. So, that's why I don't really do them. Like, like I said, I'm not really doing much to them because this is how what size I want them. I don't, I don't really plan on adding anything else on them. Just a little bit, not much, you know. And this is my first time using poly gel, so I don't know, you know, how much, how um, how much um. I should actually be like, if you could actually, um, do them on, on my nails, but I think it should be fine, so, I don't have a lot of cuticle, like, you know, like, I'm not really pushing nothing back, as you can see, I mean, I know my camera is not focusing, but I don't have a lot to push back, because it's, like, pushed back already, I don't know. Like, I don't really have anything to push back. It's weird. I'm trying, but, you know, since I'm very sensitive, it hurts me too, so. Hmm, okay. I guess I'll just try my best, you know, to do it. I was already pushed back. It just gets pushed back naturally, you know. And I don't like to hurt myself. You see, I try to push, but I don't even have nothing, so I don't even know what I'm pushing there, you know? Literally nothing. So then I'm just going to start filing my nails. I do have a electric file, but I'll just do it with this, you know? And it is going all over my counter. Well, this is actually my dresser. Um, it's okay. I'll clean it after and, you know, vacuum the carpet.
And I don't like to actually file them a lot because then I feel like they're they become super thin and I don't like that. I just like don't like to feel my nails too um too thin, you know, after the whole thing. So let's see how this goes. Like I said, this is my first time trying it, so let's see how this goes here. So if anybody that does nails and is watching this and they have tips for me, let me know. Um, like I said, I'm not a professional on doing nails. I just like to do them for fun. Like, it's just something I like to do and something I used to do when I didn't have kids, you know. But now that I have children, it gets kind of hard to do your nails because they want to touch everything. They want to do your nail. They want to do their nails, you know, and. It just gets hard. Then they try to grab my nail polishes and I don't like them grabbing my, touching my stuff, you know. So, of course, before starting this video, I had to do their nails, you know, because they saw me grabbing my stuff. So, I went ahead and I did their toes and their hands and, you know, one of them wanted purple toes and purple nails and then... The other one wanted um, purple, purple um, hands, and then purple. I mean, pink toenails. So, okay, so that was the first step, you know. Um, so then, what I'm gonna do? I do have this um, cleansing wipes that have no lint, so I will be using this um, with the cleanser. Um, Honestly, instead of the cleanser, I'm just going to use the, um, I'm just going to use the cleanser. Just, you know. And I really don't have a lot of cleansers, so I need to go find some more cleanser. Okay, one more time just to make sure. And then let's switch the camera around. I feel like this is better, okay? Um, so then, um, what I have to do is apply some, where is that at? This is the base code. So we have to do the dehydrator. So I will be putting this on my nail. Oh no wait, I don't think I have dehydrator. What is this? Okay, no. Okay, so I don't have dehydrator. So what I'm going to be doing is um, I'm going to be putting um, some primer. Okay, because I don't have the dehydrator. thought I had it, but I guess I don't have it. So I'll be putting this on my nail. And this is how I do it. I don't know if I'm doing it right. You know. So I'm just going to... 
I should have brought a napkin, but I did not bring a napkin because then I'm going to get all of my counter in. And then, you know. Okay, and that's it. Uh, that was the first step. So that's what I did, the primer. So you're supposed to let it like rest for 10, 30 seconds. Uh, so then after that, I'm going to be doing the base coat. Um, let's see. The base coat. Where's the base coat? Okay, so I already used this one. I'll be using the base coat. Okay. So, I have to put the base coat on it. I don't know, I'm always so used to shaking it. Wait, before I do the base coat, I haven't even measured the nails. I don't know. I think I this first. You know? I don't even know how to use it. Oh, look, it's here. So I'm just measuring the nails because I did not do that. You know. This one is way too big, I don't know. There's the four. No, it's still too big. Mm, I don't know if it's pouring. Now I need my thumb, okay? So I think I got my nails that I'm going to be using, okay? So then I'll be putting the base coat now because I already know what, which ones I'm going to be using, okay? So I'll put the base coat on. And I don't know, am I supposed to cure this or not? Yeah. So I'll be putting a base coat. I do have my put this to the side. I do have a LED light. I I used to use the gel from Sensational. Um but honestly I really didn't like it. I feel like it peeled off so fast. Um it was just very irritating. You know, like If I did nails, it was just like, I don't know, honestly, I didn't like it. I still have them, but I just feel like there's better gel nail polishes. Because when I used to go to the salon and I would do my nails, like, theirs would last. I don't know, because they're professionals or what do they do, you know, but I feel like theirs would last a long time versus when I would do it I feel like it didn't last that long you know and I'm not putting a lot of gel either like you know just putting a little bit of gel 
and then I guess we'll just put it in here you know my hands do fit in here so I have teeny hands so they're in here for a little bit you know So that's a beeping. So, um, since I am going to do them on top of my nails, um, I don't even know if I really need to put the fake nail on, but I'm just going to try to do it um, to see how it comes out. Um, like I said, this is my first time doing the poly gel. So I don't know how it's going to come out, you know. So we'll see how this goes. So I guess they're done. Um, and then I'll be putting the poly gel on the wrong side. Taking this off, and here's the little brush. Sorry, I kind of forget where the camera is at. And I am wearing black, so you know, that's it. So I'm going to close my face coat. I'm going to open. Like I said, I chose the milk one. Milk. Can you see it? Not really. Okay. I'm going to open this up. I'm going to put it on top of that. Okay. So it says here. I'm going to open this one up too because I'll be using this, you know. Oh, I always have problems with opening these things. I don't know why. Yeah, I opened it, but the little plastic is still here, so I really did not open it. You know what I mean? It's open, but it's not open. Okay, I'll just have to work something with it. Okay. So, it does say to put it... So, you will be putting it like... A little bit like this because I'm guessing that's how you do it, right? I'm just gonna grab a little bit and I guess I'll be putting it in the solution. I guess I don't really know, you know, like I said, it's my first time doing this, so I'm just grabbing it softly as soft as I can. And I mean, this nail's super tiny, so I'm just going to try my best to do it. And then just try to push it. As much as I can. And I don't want them like super big either it's like I said I have small children and I do not want to hurt them in any way when I change the diaper you know so I don't know if I'm doing it right if I'm doing it wrong if anybody has any tips on how I should be doing this let me know you know, if I could get better at this, why not? And I mean, I'm just trying my hardest, you know. I just... I don't know at this point if I'm doing it right or wrong. But... Here's my first try, you know. I feel like it needs more poly gel. Just because... 
you know it's super thin you can see that is extra thin so I think I'm just gonna pat it in there like I said I don't know if I'm doing it right if I'm doing it wrong but I feel like Maybe this is the correct way to do it. I really don't know what I'm doing. Like I said, this is my first time doing this. So I'm just trying my best. I flip it around to see, okay. Probably need some right here. A little bit of poly gel just right there maybe a little bit more because it looks super thin right there yeah so maybe a little bit more liquid and just pat it there And honestly, I cannot even see the liquid, so I don't even know if I'm doing a good job or a bad job, you know? Like, I can't really say how I'm doing. So, I feel like this looks alright. I mean, I'm not, I don't want my nail that long, you know, but... Maybe if I push it down a little bit, it will help. Maybe just push it out like this. You know? Okay, here goes nothing. So, I don't know if I'm doing it wrong. Like that's it. I'm just going to put it on. I don't know if I did it right. Like I stated. Put it like that. And I'm going to stick it in. And I'm going to do one at a time because, like I said, I'm not an expert at doing it. I don't know if I'm doing it right, if I'm doing it wrong, you know. Like, I know I still need more practice, you know. So, this is the reason why I'm doing it like this, okay. And it's curing it right now. As you can see. I would have never thought this was going to be a long process. But it's taking a long time. I'm just closing out my little nail stuff that I have. So I can sit on it because, you know, I'm not tired of standing up. And, you know. It says literally just to pop it off. Okay, and there's my nail. Obviously, it looks so... Oh, I don't think I did it right. Like, honestly. And the so honest, I don't think it's right. I don't know. I really don't know how I did. Let me see. I'm trying to look at it. But I can't really see if I did it right or wrong. I don't think I pressed it down all the way, to be honest with you guys. It looks kind of dumb. It looks like it's going up. So let me see here. And it's in there. What if I want to take it off? Is this going to be removable? Let's 
should be able to go in this way. Yeah, you see, I told you guys. I didn't glue it right because it was lifted from the top. And I could feel it being lifted, you know? <sighs> so, okay. I'm going to have to repeat the same process again and put the gel cleaner. Thank God I have some right here. Just wipe all the axis. Uh, put the primer. While that's going on, I'm going to put the base coat. Try to do it again for the second time. Let's put it in there. I'm gonna put this one in there because I need to do this one. And I messed it up. Like I really messed it up. I'm trying to do the best that I can, so I had to take it away. Off, you know. Didn't think you had to press it too hard, you know, to actually get it like nice, you know, like. I don't know. We'll see how this goes. This is the second attempt to try to do it, okay? Just waiting here, you know. Okay, so that's done. Okay, so then we're going to try it again. And like I said, I don't want it too thick. Oh, uh, you see, this one went so much smoother, you know? Maybe because this time I did have solution in there. Okay. So I don't want it so, so, like, long. But as you can see, like, you can see if it's thin or thick, you know, like, you're able to see if it's thin or thick. So this is what it looks like. And I think it's fine. It doesn't look too thin or too thick. So um, I'll try this again for the second time. So I guess it has to go in there. Like super duper good. I guess I'll blends this off and you see what happens is that it lifts it goes up all the solution goes up by the time that I try to put it in there so that is the problem here I'm pushing it and it's pushing the solution up you know So, I'm just going to try to put it in like this, but I don't know, because it goes up when you're putting it in the machine. That's kind of weird. Another thing is that my nails, like when they grow out, they grow out like curved. I don't know if that has to do anything with it. But yeah, they grow out curved. I don't know why. It's always, it's always going out like that, curved. You know? And 
You see, and it did the same thing again. It curved up again. Like, I don't know what's going on with this now, like, honestly. It keeps curving up. So, take it off again. And you see how it curves up? Like, it keeps doing that. I don't know why it keeps doing that. I don't know if you can see that. I might give up on this. No joke. Like, I don't know why it keeps doing that. You know what? Maybe because I have an else. Smart one. I didn't think about that. Maybe because I have my nails. My long nails. And it, I don't need to put on the actual curving thing. Like that nail. And I know this is going to mess up my nail. You know? My natural nail. But I think that's what it is. Because I have nails on. And... Like I said, my notes curve. They do curve. So I do have to be like. Like as you see, like this one's look. They've curved going down. They're not like straight, you know, all of them curve. So maybe that is my problem. That they curve down. So now that I know that. This is not working. I tried it a second time and it's obviously not working. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to do it on my natural nail to see how it actually comes out or see what it does, you know. Because that way you can actually see if there's a difference, you know. Tried it two times. It didn't work. I gave up on the third time. So now, time to try something out different, you know. And hopefully this actually works. Okay. Last try. Okay. So I'm gonna do and not our the poly gel didn't really go out of my nails, like to the side of my nails, so we will see. I noticed that